Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back with another OPTC video. And in today's video, we are looking at the co op local sea monster event again. Um, but this time, we are looking at it with some hybrid teams. So I've got um, four hybrid teams for you guys today. And basically, um, the way they work is we are hybriding up with this guy here um, as he can remove the special like blind um so we've got three teams utilizing shanks and crew and then um we've got a team that is hybriding up with this guy here halloween ace i had so much fun playing with halloween ace um pulling one of the super first is really cool uh, he can actually if you have him he can actually get it done um just double halloween ace so um i hope you guys enjoy this one and if you did and it's helping you out uh, if you were feeling stumped, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more OPT C content, and um, yeah, let's just hop straight in. Okay, so the first hybrid team we have is a Sober Mask and Shanks Crew team. Um, this team was clean. I um, I hit the end and realized I didn't have a way of removing the defense up, and this team just has so much damage, it just doesn't even care. Um, so if you've got Sober Mask and you've got these rare recruits, um, you will be fine. Um, we're using Immunclub Switch Effect to get rid of one turn of Paralysis, um, to help out Luffy who has five turns. Uh, we have Hina for Color Affinity. Um, the Immunclay can also, um, remove the Despair if we get the Despair turn on Stage 4. Uh, and then we have Judge here as an All Booster. Um, and then obviously Sober Mask is the Attack Booster. We are using um, the Shanks crew again to remove the special blind and to uh, get rid of the uh, uh, normal damage kill debuff. So as you can see, we did get the um, despair. So we are going to use our Indian Clay special. We are dropping Shanks' special on stage uh, four, just so we can get through this cleanly in one turn. I actually forget to jump with Sanji in this run too, so this team actually has way more damage than you, than you guys can see. Right about a mil. Well, not heaps more damage then. You do kind of want to hit your perfects there though. Um, don't hit your perfects. It's less damage. Not as effective. Alright, we get on to the final stage against the Sea Monster. We're using... Um, the switch effect of Invin Clay. Very important that you are born Clay on the turn before that, just so you've got the extra uh, physical unit. I'm going to use Luffy here to uh, remove the paralysis, but we are going to use Sober Mask first. Very important, so you get the full crew attack boost. Uh, we're going to use Hina for a two times color affinity. He's judged for the two times orbs, and just, yeah. This is kind of where I realized, oh crap, I don't have any way of removing the defense up, so um, what am I going to do? And I just said, you know what, let's just go for it, see what happens, and this is what happens. Absurd amounts of damage. Absurd. Even with the defense up, uh, Shanks and crew. It's just nuts. <laughs> so there you guys goes there you guys go. That was the Sober Mask hybrid team. On to the next team. The next thing we have is a Stampede Luffy Shanks and Crew hybrid team again. We are utilizing uh, Arlon Crew in the corner there. This is a bit of a flex, but uh, I imagine just any sort of attack booster would work. Um, you do have Shanks and Crew as well. Like, you don't need to bring an attack booster, I guess. Um, but I would probably recommend it just for the extra damage. Um, you can use Stampede Luffy's special uh, on stage four as well. 
trying to make things a bit easier for you or stage three whichever you prefer um i'd probably use it on stage four though um and just use shanks shanks and crew switch effect to get through to stage three uh, Inventclay is also removing the um, remove sound effects or remove special effects debuff that we get as well. Um, again, make sure you are born clay on this this turn. You do want to be going into the uh, final stage as born clay, so you can switch into Inventkov. You can very easily drop uh, Stampede Luffy's special here, but I already had a couple buffs um, and just thought, nah. As you can see, plenty of damage. So as the sea monster does reduce our HP by a significant margin, our long crew is going to be very effective here. Um, uh... Luffy removes the paralysis. Um, we do have Zoro for color affinity for our slashes, mainly just for Shanks and Law. We have Law for orb boost and a uh, chain lock, but the Shanks and crew chain lock is going to overtake that. Two times attack boost. I'm oh, sorry, 2.5 times attack boost with Arlong. And we have um, Otama here to remove the defense up. So uh, this team does it fairly easily. Uh, if you have Stampede Luffy, uh, you should be fine. Law and Arlong again, replaceable with any orb booster, any um, attack booster. So you should be fine, but I'll catch you guys in the next team. Okay, guys, next team we have, again, with Shanks and crew, but this time we are utilizing the new V3 Law as our captain. Uh, subs look pretty familiar. Even Clay, again, sort of OP for this if you don't have the uh, newer units. The Law, Luffy's back um, for the attack boost as well this time. Uh, Atama removes the defense up, and Sabo's here for color affinity. Um, obviously, Shanks and crew don't get a full buff on this team, but... Man, I love this new lore. Like, I'm a big fan of this new lore, so I had to find a way to make a team with him. Um, but this team's this team does it pretty well. Um, if you have Stampede Luffy, though, I'd probably recommend using him as the leader and Lore as the sub. Um, but this team this team does it nonetheless. Um, so yeah, like I said, guys, I'm gonna leave you with the rest of this um, the Shanks crew uh, hybrid teams. Um, if you have any of these units and it helps you out and if you were feeling stumped, make sure you hit that like button uh, and hit that subs subscribe button for more uh, hybrid teams and more teams on new OPTC content and other gotcha games in general. Alright guys, so the final team, I would, would not really recommend this team to be real with you, but 
it gets the job done. I thought I'd make this team for all of those uh, all those people that pulled for Bullet and had no gems to pull on this Sugo Fest. Um, I hope you found a way to pull because this Sugo Fest was nuts. Um, but look, Bullet gets it done. Friend Halloween Ace to remove the special blinds. Im and Clay for the same reason that Im and Clay is on every single one of these teams. Um, we've got a Kino here for the orb boost. Uh, Kobe to remove the despair. And then um, Oz to remove the defense up and extend the attack boost of Ace. So um, this team does rely on a little bit of RNG at the end there to sort of uh, get an orb on bullet, I guess. But um, it can be done without it, as you kind of see, as you'll see in this clip. Like I said, guys, I would not recommend this team. But I mean, if you've got the units and you've got no other option, it, it can be done. Like bullets, just bullet. Really, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy what this man can do. To be honest, like back against the wall, everything saying no. There's no way bullet can do this with a um, 99 turn one turn damage debuff. But here he is, just. Beaten content, just it's nuts. You do want to make sure that you are Infinkov when you go into the final stage as well. That's um one thing to note. So it's the other way around this time, um because you want to be your red unit, um just for that little bit of extra damage because damage in this team is very very important. So um anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed these hybrid teams. Like I said, um if it did help you out and you're feeling stumped, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Lights.